Do you love to wear a dress? I'm Sheila, I'm a personal stylist, and I help women find the best styles that suit their body shape, their coloring, and their personality so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and you'll be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. So let's talk about dresses, and I'm going to show you how you can look great in a dress. We're going to go through the different body types in dresses, different lengths, different materials and patterns, and how that all comes together to make you look great. And also, I'm going to talk about those challenges that you might have that's keeping you from wearing a dress and how to overcome them. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that I'll be having an online style course, How to Create Your Signature Style. It's a six-week course, and I'll let you know more about that at the end of this video. So here are three pros of wearing a dress. Number one, it's easy to get dressed with a dress, and that is because it's just one item. Once you get the right material, the right shape for your body shape, the right length, and you know which shoes to wear with it, all you need then is a sweater or jacket and you're ready to go. Dresses easily hide tummies and they are also elongating. So if you don't have a dress in your closet right now, after this video maybe you'll be enticed to go buy a dress. And once you start wearing dresses, especially summertime, when you get to wear a dress and you like dresses, it makes getting dressed <laughs> so much easier. So let's get started and find the best dress for your body shape. If you're a rectangle body shape, you'll want to choose a dress that creates a curve. And if you're a slim rectangle and you want to look larger, you can use prints to do that. You can also use a shape. So if you're smaller and you want to look larger, you can wear a dress that's more like this one and you have a lot of flexibility. If you're a rectangle and you want to create more of that curved shape, then you can choose a dress that is a solid color and you can wear a belt. If you're an oval body shape, you'll want to choose a dress with an empire waistline or a wrap style. Stay away from large prints and dresses that are short. If you're an inverted triangle body shape, you'll want to choose a dress that slims the top half and has a flare at the bottom. So that will be a dress with a deep V and not much detail at the very top. If you are an hourglass body shape, you'll want to choose a dress that accentuates your curves, that is in a nice jersey material, and glides nicely over your body. If you'd like more information about dressing to suit your body shape, you can download my guide, Dressing to Suit Your Body Shape, and I will put a link for that in the description box below. So now let's talk about dress lengths. And I'm focusing on casual dresses today and more of that summery casual look. So a lot of the dresses will be prints and they will be a little bit longer. The best length dress is one that ends at the knee, an inch above the knee, or an inch below the knee. That doesn't mean you can't wear different lengths, it's just that length is one that will suit most people and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry if it's maybe too long or too short. You know that if you have that length, you're good. If you're wearing a dress that's knee length or an inch above or an inch below, you'll need to wear a heel. The heel can be an inch, it can be more than an inch, but I wouldn't go over two and a quarter or two and a half inches. Once you go over that height, it's getting more difficult to walk and you get a bit tippy on your heels. It also throws off the balance of the overall look. If you want to create a longer looking leg, choose a shoe with a low vamp. And a low vamp is one that shows more of your foot. A high vamp hides most of your foot. So when you can see more of your leg in your foot, it creates that longer look and your leg looks longer. So for this length dress, you'll need to have a little bit of a pump and a low vamp. If you wear a dress that's an inch, two inches, or three inches above your knee, then you can wear lower shoes. So you can wear flats, and you can, depending on the type of dress, so if it's a very, very casual dress, you could wear sneakers. After 50, a dress that's more than three inches above your knee is probably not a good idea. But that depends on the person as well. So when you do wear something that's three inches above your knee, wear flats. If you wear something that's really high, it throws out the balance and it doesn't look right. 
So you can wear flats if you're wearing something that is a little bit shorter. You can wear a dress or skirt three inches or more above your knee during the winter because you're wearing tights and that makes it a lot more appropriate. The best shoes for a maxi dress are flat. You can wear heels, but if you do, your dress should be longer. You don't want to have your dress up too high above your ankle and it kind of throws off the balance again. So a maxi dress, you can wear it longer and wear flats. If you wear a dress that's mid-calf, you definitely need to wear a pump. The mid-calf is probably the worst length because it ends right at that large part of your leg and it's not the most flattering length for a dress. It can be flattering, however, if you wear a pump and if you don't like to wear pumps, you can wear boots as long as you tailor the whole outfit to boots. With a summer dress, it's out of balance. So if you're going to wear, wear boots with a dress, you really need to get that whole balance right. So now let's talk about prints and color. The best print is one that has a color in it that is your best color. The color that shows up most in that print should be your best color. There are small prints, medium prints, and large prints. So the best print is one that is in relation to your body size. If you're a small person, you're better to wear small prints. If you're a medium person, you can wear something a little bit bigger. And if you're a larger person, you can wear a larger print. But if you're really small, an oversized print, a large print will look overpowering. So let me show you some dresses of me wearing a small print and now wearing a more medium print and a larger print. So you can see that the larger print stands out. It's kind of like, especially when the flower of the print is right in the middle of the dress, all you can see is that flower. You also need to think about where the flowers are positioned on the dress and also the size of the print in relation to you. Another way to create illusions with your dressing is with color blocking. So you can wear color blocking in a dress and it can make your waist look smaller. It can make you look more elongated. Depending on where that color is, it can do all kinds of wonderful things. Now right now, color blocking is not really, well it isn't, uh, really trending, but when you find your personal style and your best style, uh, you can wear color blocking and it won't matter if it's trending. When you find something that works for you, you can wear it. The way that a trend doesn't work for you is if it's something really different and you can pinpoint the time and the month and maybe the year or mostly the year when it, where it came from and then you know it's like a one-time thing. But something like color blocking, things like animal prints, even though they are trending at some points, you can wear them and still be fashionable. It's all about you and your style and what looks great on you and what you like and how that is making you look, those color blockings or the animal print, whatever it is. Now let's talk about material and dresses. When you're choosing the best dress for you, it's very important to choose a material that you love, a material that feels good for you and that you love to wear. That will make your dress more appealing to you. Material can be heavy, it can be light, it can be coarse or flimsy. An example of a heavy material dress would be denim. Now, if you like to wear your dresses a couple of inches shorter above your knee, denim is a great choice to wear with sneakers. It's a very casual, sporty look and will look great with sneakers. And you can also wear a denim dress with flats. Jersey knit dresses are more slimming. And the reason is because they fall around your body nice and easy and soft and they are heavy. If the, if the jersey is heavy, it will create that slimming look because it will pull down and it will glide on over your curves. If you're choosing a summer dress, you might want it to be in cotton because it breathes easily and you'll feel cooler. Also cotton dresses in nice pastel colors, if pastel colors are good for you, are nice and summery and cool. Jersey knit in a small print, so it has a very slimming effect. So what's keeping you from wearing a dress? Could it be your legs, your ankles, your feet? 
Let's talk about that. So if you won't wear a dress or you don't wear a dress because you want to hide your legs, well, you could wear a maxi dress. And depending on how much of your leg you're willing to show, you might even wear a mid-calf dress. So let's say you want to cover your legs completely. Well, then you can wear a maxi dress. And when you wear a maxi dress, I would suggest wearing one that's really cool in a cotton material, because if it's warm, you don't want to have that extra material around your legs that make you hot. So wear a nice cool material and you can wear flats and if your dress is long, if you are petite, you might find it easier to find maxi dresses that come down to meet the floor. So wear a maxi dress that's long that covers your feet and covers your legs. If it's your ankles you don't like, well, that will be the same way. You can wear a maxi dress. And if it's your feet because you have to wear orthopedic shoes or you have to wear flats, a maxi dress will do that as well. So if it's long enough, it can cover your feet and you can still, you can still wear a dress. If you don't want to wear a short dress over the knee, but you want to wear something that's um, a midi, you're fine with that, then you can wear heels. And if you don't really want to wear heels, you can wear a low vamp, which will make your legs look longer. And if you have bowed legs, you can wear skirts that are cut on a diagonal, or you can wear nice flowy type skirts. If you don't like your knees, wear dresses that come just one inch below the knee and wear pumps or nude color shoes to elongate your leg. To recap, choose a dress that is flattering for your body shape, that is in a color that you really love, that suits you, and in a material that feels good, and then wear shoes that feel good too and that look great with that outfit. If trying to find your best styles is too overwhelming on your own, you can put your name on the list for my style course that's coming up in April. It's Create Your Signature Style six week online course. And during that course, I will be taking you from A to Z to show you the best styles for you, the best colors, how to mix and match, how to put it all together so you can dress well with ease. So you can look in your closet in the morning and say, wow, I love everything is here and I really know how to put it all together. So I want you to love your clothes and I can show you how to do it. And in this course, you'll be getting one-on-one -on -one time with me. Uh, after every module, I will have a chat. Also, we'll have a daily chat where you can get your questions answered. So to learn more about it, I will put a link in the description box below and you can put your name on the list or you can email me and I will make sure you know when the course starts. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.